Welcome to Marlin Tech Tips. I'm going to show you today how to clean your Marlin 1895 lever action rifle. Um, first thing I want to do is make sure that there's no live ammunition in the gun or in your work area. And I, I've already cleared my work area and I've, I've disassembled it so obviously it's easy to see the chamber. But you also want to make sure that the magazine, your, your loading tube is completely empty. Only tools you're going to need, you know, normal cleaning supplies. You want a good pair of safety glasses. You're going to need some type of solvents to clean the gun, a good type of lubricant, lubricant a gun oil. Uh, it is helpful to have some kind of compressed air. If you've got an air compressor or just a, a can of compressed air is, is ideal. A couple options you can use, a, certainly use a, a cleaning rod like this, or if you have something like a boar snake or a flexible cleaner like a, the Otis system, there, there's a couple out there that work pretty well. Um, big fan of these, they work very, very well. You will need just some type of a tool just to move your locking bolt, just to make sure that that's, that's moving. Uh, but, it's, but it's a simple, simple procedure for cleaning. Um, to start with, I'm just going to put some solvent on my cleaning brush. And I want to clean from the chamber end to the muzzle. You don't want to go from muzzle, to, you want to protect that muzzle. So I'm going to run my, my brush through. I'm going to run that right through. Unscrew that. Option B certainly is to use some kind of a flexible cleaner which I am a big fan of. Get some solvent on there. Again, you want to go through the chamber end. You want to keep doing that, repeat this process multiple times. Now, if you're using some type of a flexible cleaner, it's a little bit harder to tell how clean the bore is becoming. So I recommend that you're going to run a nice clean patch through there and run that through until that patch comes out nice and clean. Depending on how dirty that is, it may take multiple passes. You may have to go back through with your, you know, like a bronze phosphorus brush, but do that until you come up with a clean patch. Once you've completed that, once you've got a nice clean patch coming through, then you want to go in through with some lubricant. So you want to use a light viscosity oil, just a little bit, and I just I just do it on the tail of my uh, my flexible cleaning system here, and I'm just going to pull this through. And this is going to do both the chamber and the bore as far as giving it a light coat of oil. Now, ideally, before you put the gun into service, before you take this out to shoot it, you want to run a dry patch through. You want to get that excess oil out of there. But if you're just going to store the gun in the, the gun, that's fine. The remaining parts, for example, for the bolt, you're just going to put some solvent on a patch and you're going to clean the bolt face. Now this gun fortunately is, is fairly clean. Get underneath this extractor hook. You want to make sure it's cleaned out underneath there because that will build up a lot of debris and whatnot. Wipe off the excess and I'll put some oil on a rag and I'll go through and wipe that down. Now, if down inside here, if you get a lot of debris, you need to blow that out. Some compressed air. Keep that firing pin channel cleaned out. Any type of punch or tool, you can just compress your firing pin and make sure you've got freedom of movement. Make sure that's moving back and forth. As far as your lever goes, again, small amount of solvent. Clean this up. And again, go back through with some oil. And oil this up in good shape. And I just use a rag, wipe off any excess. Even that coat out and you're good. Your ejector, again, some solvent on this. We'll, we'll clean this up. Again, a little light coat of oil on that is perfect. Now, down inside your action, you want to get some solvent down inside here. Get in down in here with a rag, clean that up. Compressed air is great to use in this area. Clean out the channel that your ejector is in. Clean this all up as best you can. It's, it's a little hard to get down there. If you need some areas to get down in with some compressed air.
Once you've done that, just again, a light coat of oil down in there just to lubricate everything up. I'm going to use my tool and make sure I've got movement down inside here. You've got a block down in here, and I just want to make sure that that block is moving. And if it's not moving, get in there, clean some more. Lastly, you want to wipe down everything, just a light coat of oil. One caution, if you're using some cleaning solvents and whatnot, if you're using one of the rifles that has a laminate stock like this, you want to avoid the acetate cleaners because that can possibly damage the stock. But short of that, um, most of the cleaning solvents out there work great. It's a pretty simple process. And again, uh, light on your oil. Everything obviously does need to be oiled, but just, just don't go crazy with your lubricant. But that is it for the process of cleaning your Marlin 1895 rifle. Thanks for watching this Marlin Tech Tip.